My father inherited uh, the farm in 1953. His, his father died in 1953. And at that point, it was really, it really was a wreck. Uh, it was, there was, a, there was a, a guy, a family um, in, in the house, Anthony family, kind of a big family around here, who, who were the, ran it, sort of the dairy, it was a small dairy. A couple of, uh, couple of men uh, worked, you know, lived there and worked, and, and that was about it. And then there was this big house that really was kind of ready to fall down. And my parents, uh, and I think largely driven by my mother, said, listen, we're either going to, to grab this place or, or, or not, you know, and the only way that, that she and they could think that we could do that was to live in it. So we used to uh, come down, I grew up outside Boston, my father was a book publisher there, and um, we'd come down early in, early in June, I mean as soon as school was out, and uh, lived in this house for several years. There was no electricity in it. The, 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 this was all candles and uh, kerosene. So, so one year my three brothers and I were each given a, uh, one of our Christmas presents was an electrical outlet anywhere you want it. <laughs> Over the years, my, my father totally built a milking operation, a milking parlor, and, and, and so we grew up coming here. My, my oldest brother, who's lived here now in that big house for 15 years or so, sort of answers, I didn't grow up here, I grew up coming here. And but I, the fact is, we've all lived kind of, kind of all over the country, me perhaps less than my three brothers, but we were all ended up back here, one way or the other.